Hi guys, Olive here, here today to talk to you about what I am currently reading and what I am planning to read for January of 2018. As I mentioned in my 2018 goals video, I'm doing something new with my wrap ups and TBRs this year, I decided to split them up so I would have more time to focus on the books in both of those sections. So I am thinking that the format of this video will be typical of the videos going forward. So these TBR videos will have a currently reading component, including books that may have run over from the previous month's TBR. And then the wrap up will have its own separate video that will come after the TBR video. So now that that is out of the way, I would like to tell you what I am currently reading, which includes quite a few books from December's TBR. I did get rather ill and lost momentum with my reading. But now that I am finally feeling better, I would like to get back on track. I am still currently working my way through Opium Reality's Dark Dream by Thomas Dormandy. This was a pick for my nonfiction November TBR that I pushed to December. But I really didn't want to give up on it, not just because I am really interested in the subject matter, but also because my random pick for the month of December was Sea of Poppies by Amitav Ghosh. And I really liked how the subject matter of both Opium and Sea of Poppies overlapped. I was really hoping that I would close out the 2017 reading year having finished both of these books. But I didn't want to rush through them just for the sake of marking them red on Goodreads. So I am hoping to finish these within the first couple weeks of 2018. I'm also still hoping to read Ghostwritten by David Mitchell. I only got about 20 pages into this one before getting distracted by other books. So I'm looking to refocus and finish it. And the last book that I am currently reading that I just picked up and have already breezed through the first third of is the Immortalist by Chloe Benjamin. This is a new release that is scheduled to be released in about a week or so. This has been one of my most anticipated releases for 2018. I read and adored her first book, The Anatomy of Dreams. And since the moment I heard that she was due to publish another book, I was dying to get my hands on an art copy of it. Toward the beginning of 2017, I requested an arc of this book from the publisher. And when I never heard anything back from them, and when I never received the book, I assumed I was just not going to be getting one. So I asked, to Steve if I could have his art copy when he was done with it. And he sent that to me. And that's what I was planning to read. But then lo and behold, a couple weeks ago, this book, a finished copy showed up on my doorstep. I screamed a little bit. I'm not going to lie about it. It took a tremendous amount of willpower not to just immediately sit down and binge the entire thing when it came in the mail both different times. But I showed some self restraint and decided to wait until I got closer to the publication date because this is a book I want to have fresh in my mind because I would really like to give it a review after it is published. But given how quickly I've worked my way through the first third of this book, I anticipate it will not take me very long to finish it. And then I will be posting that review. And then moving on to all the other books that I would like to read in January, I will be picking up the first book off of my classics I want to read in 2018 list, which will be Evgeny or Eugene Onegin by Alexander Pushkin. And alongside Eugene Onegin, I thought it would be a good idea to also read Pushkin, a biography by TJ Binion. I learned quite a bit about Pushkin's life. When I was in college, I read quite a few of his works, translated some of them into English very shoddily. But this is a very chunky biography. So I am sure that I will be learning some new things about Russia's favorite poet. So while I was putting together this TBR, I decided that if I was already reading two books on Pushkin, why not round it out with a third and have a little Pushkin fest. So I will also be reading Strolls with Pushkin by Andrei Sinyavsky. This is a piece of fiction that Andrei Sinyavsky wrote while he was doing time in a Soviet gulag. And in it, he imagines himself in conversation with Pushkin and examines the Russian veneration of Pushkin. Also in January, I would like to pick up The Unseen World by Liz Moore. This is a book that I have seen on so many different people's top books of 2017 lists. I have been looking forward to reading this book ever since it was sent to me by W.W. Norton, and I heard everyone speaking so highly of it. So I will be picking this one up pretty early in the month. I am also thinking about picking up Winter World, The Ingenuity of Animal Survival by Bernd Heinrich. This is a novel nonfiction book all about the different adaptations that animals have evolved in order to survive in very extreme weather conditions. I thought this would be appropriate for this month because we are only at the beginning of winter. And yet it has been almost comically cold here in Pittsburgh. So I thought this one would be very topical. And I am also hoping to pick up The Future is History, How Totalitarianism Reclaimed Russia by Masha Gessen. Masha Gessen's book, The Man Without a Face, made my top five nonfiction books of 2017 list. So certainly after reading that book, I've been very eager to pick up other books of hers. And this book, 
just recently won the National Book Award for nonfiction. The subject matter of this book is certainly very timely. I absolutely love Masha Gessen's writing style, so this has been one that I have been very eager to pick up. I will also be buddy reading Signal to Noise by Sylvia Moreno-Garcia with Stephanie from That's What She Read. And the last book on my TBR for January will be my random selection for the month. If you've never seen me do this, what I do is I go to my Goodreads to read shelf and I use a random number generator to select three different options of books that I might be interested in reading. I then select one of those to read for the month. Option number one is Robbing the Bees, A Biography of Honey, The Sweet Liquid Gold That Seduced the World by Holly Bishop. Option number two is The Daughters by Adrian Selt. And option number three is The Library of Panopticon by Alexandria Nolan. This one is not only the one that is interesting me the most at the moment, but it also fits into my general desire to be reading more of the books on my shelves and making more space for new books. So this is the one I'm going to select for the month. So those were the books that I am currently reading and what I am hoping to read in January. I would love to hear from you in the comment section below if you've read any of these, if you've heard of them, if you would like to read them now hearing me talk about them, or if you would like to chat with me elsewhere, you can find me a variety of different places on social media and the links to all of my profiles are linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year and I will see you in the next video. Bye!